Okay guys, so I just got the call from the camera store, camera mall, and they told me that my 150 to 600 was in. So as I finished my work day, I ran to the store and picked up this guy. Um, this thing is so big that I had to turn it a special way just to even get it on my desk to be able to have it in the video so that you guys can see it. And I wanna do a quick unboxing like I normally do on my channel and then take the lens out, do some initial test photos with it and uh, basically give my initial uh, opinion of the lens itself after uh, getting it and so forth. So as you guys see, I mean, this box is huge. The lens is huge. This is my receipt from Camera Mall. Let me move that over. Uh, what you get in the box, you guys have probably seen already a couple of videos. Uh, I'll just go through this real quickly. Uh, you get a strap, which is great. This actually looks like the same strap that's on the X-H2, a pretty wide strap there. The uh, camera lens pouch, if you will. Uh, this one is on the same level as the GFX, where it's got the leatherette. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me bring this down. Uh, the leatherette uh, on it. And I'm probably not gonna take this out the back. Ah, yeah, let me do it. So we'll take this out off camera a little bit here and uh, bring this out. But I, I love the bags, especially these, cause this is very reminiscent, actually exactly the same as the ones you get for the, the bigger lenses on the X, uh, XF lens line for the APS-C line cameras. And then, uh, but also they're very, very similar to what you get when you get the GFX lenses. So, and as you guys can see, this thing is huge because the lens itself is huge. So um, I will fold this back up nicely because I will be putting this back in the bag. Um, again, just in case it wasn't in focus, there is the lens uh, strap. <laughs> uh, first lens I've ever gotten this big where it needs its own strap. You also see it comes with the shoe which I will take out of the packaging. And there we go. Let me bring that down so you can get a good look at that. Okay. And it comes with manual this time. Uh, instead of here in the US, us going to a QR code, you actually get the manual and you get a warranty sheet here as you guys see. And that's all on the first shelving. As I take that out, you see the lens itself right here. And I'm filming this with the XS10 actually, so I'm having some fun with that. I got the Godox Move Link on, using it as wireless mic. So give you guys an idea of what I'm using today. I'm not using the X-H2. I uh, just want to do a quick, like I said, unboxing part of this. And then when I do take this out into the wild, and that's pretty much it. We got some serious packing there. They're gonna keep all together. So we're gonna move this big monster out of the way. Again, a big box. And then we'll put the lens itself in. So we got a little extra padding around that, bubble wrap around the actual lens covered in plastic as it is. This is lens first impression grabbing it as it was when I did the Fuji event that Camera Mall had, or I should say their anniversary event. This lens is super light. Um, I didn't expect this lens to be as light as it is, but it is definitely light. Uh, it's definitely light compared to the 100 to 400. I love the build on it. it even though it's light, it doesn't feel cheap, that's for sure. Um, that's right there, you see, is where the hot shoe, or I should say hot shoe, it looks like a hot shoe, where the um, lens foot goes. And I believe I'm putting that on right. I probably need to loosen that up. And yes, I do. So I'll do that later since I kind of have this in the hand. Um, very nice. Look at that glass. Uh, again, very light. I was so excited. I didn't even think about getting a uh, filter. So I usually put a UV filter over my um, lenses because again, I'm clumsy. And I'd like that, that to break before the lens element itself gets damaged. So I will be going back to the camera store if I don't have an 82 uh, uh, millimeter lens filter already uh, lens, and put that on there. So we'll put that right there. And then here's the cover. Now, I was actually expecting the cover to be uh, the same color as the lens. Uh, when I was at the uh, Camera Mall's anniversary event and picked this lens up, as you guys can recall in the video I posted, 
it was so such a tight environment that you really couldn't use this to take any good shots. So there it is in all its monstrous glory there. Um, and I was hoping when I picked up that copy that it was not full production, but obviously it was. And that, I don't know, it feels a little, it looks a little off to me, but I would have thought this would have been uh, the same color as the kind of silverish white looking uh, paint that's on the majority of the body, but I guess not. So uh, same as the uh, 100 to 400, you have your door there to get in there to circular polarizers just turn around. And then as you guys can see, you have the four buttons that you can program to get you to specific zoom links right away, depending on your shooting style. Uh, the buttons here for the full and uh, five millimeter to infinity switch, everything feels nice and solid. Buttons feel nice and solid. The screws are on nice, uh, so that feels nice and solid to go from a vertical to or a portrait on this thing. So very nice all together. And we are gonna put that back right there. Hopefully I got this all on camera and get it centered right. Tighten that back up. Okay, so all in all, initially out of the box, I'm excited. This thing feels fantastic. It's light, feels very well built. And um, I'm gonna look forward to getting this out tomorrow, hopefully, to do some type of shooting. Now what I will do is I'm gonna put this right here and go ahead and get the 100 to 400 so you guys can see a quick size comparison between the two. And you've probably seen that on other videos, but I wanted to put them side to side. And you guys can see that right there. So funny enough, definitely smaller but definitely heavier. I mean, I feel the weight of this guy over the weight of this. So that's impressive. So again, looking forward to that. Let's end this part now, go out and get some uh, shots and then I'll give you my final initial open box feeling of the camera out in the wild. So I'm out here at Mattel Botanical Gardens. I'm gonna go ahead and take this monster out to uh, the little pond here, see what I can get as far as whatever's there. There's usually some egress there. There's usually some cranes there, or herons, I should say, and uh, some ducks. And then I just wanna see how the lens perform, playing around with the settings and so forth. So let's go have some fun. This is out a little bit. I am almost at 600, and I'm gonna put this at 600. Again, this is handheld liking this guy all right he's chilling out with the ducks they're all happy got the back of him okay now while i'm filming i'm also getting the audio on the xh2 so it'll be interesting to see how that works out all right Looks like it's about to snag a fish. So we're gonna do some video right now. We're almost at 600 meters. We have bird auto, uh, um, autofocus detect on. Uh, looks like he lost that one, okay.
So hopefully you guys like my little unboxing. A again, I like to have sample photos, and in this case, sample video as well, on how I used the lens in question. And in this one, of course, it's the 150 to 600 here. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is, it's, it's, it's a monster. One of the things that I have to say off the bat in, in this conclusion that I wish Fuji would have done was I would have liked to actually have a bag that had more protection in it that actually I can put this in instead of having to get a third party. Uh, it would be nice to see Fuji come out with a bag like that, not only just for this lens, but the 100 to 400 as well. Same thing they did for the 200 Prime that they came out. I believe that's more in a case. It would have been nice to get this big thing in a case because it's not gonna fit in a lot of bags. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what, what bag I'm gonna fit this in when I actually go out shooting with it. I use a lens pouch and that's what it is, is a pouch to take this out. And as far as protection wise go, I, I, I would want more protection for a red bad lens that this is. So I went out and I'll bring this up in view here and got me a case for it for now. I like the case, it's gonna do the job for now. It's by JJC, I will put a link to it for Amazon in the notes below. And I'll start also, as you notice, putting my, the affiliate links down in the bottom. Any support you wanna provide for the channel in the way of purchasing some of the items that I use for my cameras, and that, that's what's gonna be in there. Uh, I will definitely add those to the notes at the bottom so you guys can take a look at them. And if you so choose to wanna purchase them and use the links, I'd appreciate it. It definitely will help support the channel and me being able to go out and do more things. So as you can see, this one is, I believe the model 47. This lens is 13 inches better, a little little taller than 13 inches, about 13 and a quarter. And they had a smaller bag, but when I looked at the interior dimensions, it was 12.44. So that's almost, I assume 12 and a half. And this is 12.6 as far as what it says on the site, but when I measured this with a tape measure, it showed thir over 13 inches. So I went with the bigger bag and it fits in there nicely. I would like to be a little snug um, and maybe there may be another bag, but for right now, that one definitely is gonna do and it definitely cushions well. As far as the rest of the conclusion, again, this is an initial unboxing, uh, unboxing with an initial test of the lens. I have a long way to go. Um, long way to go this is my first lens of this focal length and i'll have to get used to it so i want to get out to the milford racetrack a couple of times if i can before the season ends definitely want to get out and doing some birding with this thing uh, but you can see what it can do when just not actually going after birds i love the shot of the butterfly hopefully you did too definitely like and subscribe guys if you like the video Add your comments to the bottom on what you felt I should have done in addition to what you saw. Let me know if you wanted me to go out and try something else. I won't go out and try this with street photography. That would be a little bit threatening with the lens this big pointing at people. But I would love to get you guys' ideas on what else I can use this lens for outside of birding, outside of sports cars. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next video.